In this video, we will compare Airtable and Notion. If you guys want to get started with either Airtable or Notion, you can use the links given down in the description. When comparing Airtable and Notion, both tools are designed for organizing data and managing workflows, but they have different strengths and use cases. Airtable is a powerful combination of a spreadsheet and a database, allowing users to organize and visualize data in various ways, such as grids, calendars, or Kanban boards. It excels at managing structured data and is ideal for teams that need to collaborate on projects, manage inventories, or track complex datasets. Airtable is known for its flexibility and user-friendly interface, making it easy to set up and customize workflows. Airtable offers several pricing plans, including a free plan, a team plan at $20 per month, a business plan at $45 per month, and an enterprise plan for larger organizations. Notion, on the other hand, is an all-in-one workspace that combines note-taking, task management, databases, and collaboration features. It's highly customizable, allowing users to create pages, databases, and task lists in a way that suits their needs. The Notion is great for individuals or teams looking for a single tool to handle everything from notes and documents to project management. It offers more flexibility in content creation and organization than Airtable, making it useful for both personal and team productivity. Notion offers different plans starting with a free option, then a plus plan at $10, a business plan at $15, and an enterprise plan for larger organizations. In my opinion, Airtable is best for teams that need a structured, database-like tool for organizing data and projects, while Notion is ideal for those looking for an all-in-one workspace that combines documents, notes, and task management in a flexible format. Your choice will depend on whether you need more structured data management or a versatile workspace for multiple purposes. So that's a comparison between Airtable and Notion. Make sure to use the links given down in the description to get started with either Airtable or Notion. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.